Okay, before we start, just let me get something off my chest. I f***ing hate this game. Yes, I suck at it big time, which is why I hate it so much. But it has been requested so many times, so here it is. Arkanoid, released by Taito in 1986. You play as the Vows, a space vessel that acts as the game's paddle, which prevents a ball from falling from the playing field. The idea of the game is simple, break the blocks. Upon breaking certain blocks you can collect power ups by collecting the falling icons. These can range from multi ball, laser shots, bigger bat and more. There are 33 stages in total with the last stage having you take on the big boss Do. Die here and it's game over as continues are not allowed. Arkanoid for the Amstrad CPC is a strange port. On one hand it's annoying to play, due to the constant slowdown making it difficult to judge how long it will take your paddle to move. And the collision detection doesn't seem to be fair either. Quite a few times I could have sworn the ball had gone straight through my paddle. Yet, despite these problems, I kinda like it. It looks nice and has some decent jingles. Playing the Apple II version is not easy at all. The analog controls are pretty sensitive, making fan adjustments really tricky. It may be a little easier to play with a mouse, however I was unable to try that method. The Apple II GS version is much closer to the arcade than the standard Apple II. Some say it's arcade perfect, but I wouldn't go that far. It does look pretty good though. The 8-bit line of Atari computers also had an official port of Arkanoid. This version plays rather slowly compared to most, making it far easier for people who suck at the game, such as myself. The controls are nice and responsive and work well with either a joystick or keyboard. One thing I did notice about this port was that it was rather generous with the level skip icons. This is the US release of Arkanoid for the Atari ST by Taito. The EU version was released by Imagine Software and seems to be pretty much the same game. I'm playing this version here with the mouse and must admit that the controls are pretty accurate. No real complaints at all.
Yeah, an Amiga arcade port that doesn't suck ass. What we have here is an excellent arcade conversion developed by Discovery Software International. The developers really wanted this to be as close as they could get it to the arcade game and even went as far as adding the US arcade warning screen. Like the ST version, I'm playing this with the mouse. Everything feels just right. Imagine up behind the BBC Micro port and it's bloody awful. The paddle moves way too slowly, making it a matter of psychic ability in knowing where the ball is going to go, because you better be there before the ball, as there's no way your paddle will move there in time. As to be expected, the TRS-80 port is a little slow and has pretty poor audio. Playability isn't too bad though. Not a total disaster like the BBC Micro we just saw, but not that great either. Reasonable port to the Commodore 64 with good controls and nice speed. If there was one complaint, it would be the shadow on the ball. It's rather off putting. A fairly good port of Arkanoid made its way to the PC, complete with horrid internal speaker sound. This port is smooth and easy to control. No complaints. The Famicom version of Arkanoid is actually pretty cool, because it came complete with a paddle controller, to give it that arcade feeling. As for the port, well, it's not bad at all.
While the MSX port is reasonably well done, it's noticeably not as smooth as, say, the Famicom port. The power-ups are also missing the letter icons, so it's up to you to remember which colour belongs to which power-up. And I bet you all thought the specy version would be in black and white. This colourful port, while lacking in some detail, is still fairly playable, but could be better. At times the ball speed increase seems very odd, plus your paddle can slow down at times. At first you'd be forgiven in thinking this Flash version is just an emulation of the arcade ROM, but in actual fact, it's not. The gameplay is pretty much the same and even looks and sounds the same, however the enemy ships that appear from time to time on the arcade version are not as frequent in this version. Also, the powered up drops are not as varied. <laughs> And let's take a look at all those versions of Arkanoid running side by side.